The U.S. moon landing of 1969 was an outstanding event and earned the United States a great place in the history of mankind. But did that really happen back then? Or were we told something completely different from reality, and what does Elon Musk think about that? Let's explore it. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has always been in the forefront and has the ability to come up with something that's quite revealing at times. And that's what makes him different from the rest. Recently, he has been seen questioning the successful lunar mission of 1969. Most people argue that the Apollo program's $152 billion in current dollars budget demonstrates that America carried its citizens to the moon. Others, though, wonder what stops the United States from spending the same amount of money in its lunar initiatives, and they assume that Americans have not yet landed the moon. And the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk, considers himself a supporter of the stated theory. So what exactly does Elon Musk think about the Apollo 11 sent in 1969? Did Americans really get their feet on the moon? Or we've been told just a story about it up till now? Let's find it out in today's video. But before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notification bell on so you always be the first one to be notified with our future updates. Let's get into the video now. Before we move to further details, let us first find where did the moon landing thought come from? On May 25, 1961, President J.F. Kennedy made a suggestion to the Congress to send Americans to the moon. Now, why exactly did he say that? We'll find out. At the time when the suggestion was put forward by the president, NASA didn't have any rockets to launch astronauts in and to send to the moon. There were no functional computers to guide the spacecraft, and not even any spacesuits to get the whole thing started. What made things even more difficult was the time period which was completely unrealistic at the time, not good enough to have a thorough know-how about the moon. NASA also had to train the astronauts for the harsh conditions of the moon which the astronauts were not familiar with before, so the chance of mistake was huge. They also built spaceships and car-like vehicles for the transportation purposes on the moon. They also built tracking stations on Earth so that they could easily communicate with the astronauts over thousands of distances. How much? Well, the distance between the Earth and the moon is approximately 384,000 kilometers, which is almost 200,000 miles or more. So between May 1961 to July 1969, NASA did the unimaginable. They not only made a spaceship to land on the moon, but also put mankind over the moon. However, from making the promise to converting it into a reality, these eight years have always been a subject of debate. And today, more than half of the American population believes that the 1969's moon landing was nothing but a jape. Some conspiracy theories also indicate that the pictures, which were being taken on the moon's surface, were fake because none of the pictures has stars in it, from the background space. Some say that the flag which can be seen in different pictures is waving whereas it shouldn't wave in space. There is another theory attached to it that the mission was virtually impossible because of the Earth's strong magnetic field and the Van Allen radiation belt, which are so strong that it is nearly impossible to go through them without getting affected. However, all of these theories have been disapproved of by science, no matter how logical they sound. But there's something more to it. Most of the people still question this today, that if Apollo 11 was a successful mission and humanity has stepped on the moon, why hasn't NASA or the United States sent more people to the moon after 1972? And the same question has been asked most of the time by SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk. When he appeared in a podcast, Musk continued to give his opinion and called 1969's mission an anomaly. He further claimed that the reality that humanity had the chance to go to the moon in 1969 was such an abnormality. It was like going into the future and advancing technology. The descents, which saw Neil Armstrong being the first human to set foot on the moon's surface, were not the natural speed of technology development, according to SpaceX creator Elon Musk. Tesla's CEO emphasizes that the speed with which technology advanced back in the day is unacceptable and that the technology we have today is far better and greater. This is the reason why most conspiracy theories oppose the idea of moon landing when technology was not much advanced. But on the other hand, Musk also believes that this mission was necessary for SpaceX to come into existence. 
because he believes that the moon landing happened in the digital age rather than the space age. And this is also the reason why Elon is trying his best to get ahead of the pack in the space race. Recently, he has been working with NASA to clear people's doubts about the moon landing in space. NASA has plans to send humans back to the moon by 2024, and SpaceX has been giving a hand to develop a human landing system, HLS. This collaboration came out when Musk was awarded with a $2.9 billion contract by NASA. And being a part of this program, SpaceX has plans to build up a rocket that is the largest and most powerful ever built, and its creator has lofty intentions of transporting individuals to the moon and Mars. It is 120 meters, 394 feet tall, making it taller than the Statue of Liberty. And what's more interesting? The metallic Starship has 33 primary engines and a maximum thrust of 7.6 million kilograms, 16.7 million pounds. Given its strength, Starship could lift up to 250 tons and carry 100 people on a voyage to Mars. SpaceX also envisions launching a Starship into orbit and then refueling it with another Starship so that it can keep going on its travel to Mars or beyond. The goal of this mission, according to Musk, is to make Starship sustainable and reduce the cost of space travel to a few million dollars each journey. Speaking of which, Musk also believes that the ultimate goal will be to create territories on the Moon and Mars, putting humans on the path to becoming a multi-planet civilization. SpaceX will also come up with other versions of spacecraft such as Artemis 3 and 4 later in the decade. These will enable more astronauts to land on the lunar surface, and NASA too has aims to utilize these Artemis missions to send astronauts beyond the Van Allen belts. They have plans to land on the south pole of the moon and then eventually on Mars. So will this mission be beneficial in any way? If this mission gets successful, it would certainly help understanding the effects on life outside the habitable zone of our home planet. This will also give a sneak peek as to what sort of crops can be grown on the surface of the moon. But regardless of any situation, Musk firmly believes that his space company will definitely set a new standard in space exploration and also endorse the actuality of moon landing. In Musk's plans, the moon is on the top of the list, then he has plans to put steps on Mars as he has called humanity a multi-planet species from time to time. Despite the significant challenges for landing on the terrestrial bodies, do you believe that Elon X NASA will be able to pull this mission off? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you found this video interesting, then like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn the notification bell on for future updates.